Never write another line of SQL again, unless you want to, of course. Hey folks, this is Richard Ross with Access Learning Zone. I just released a new template. I call it the Access AI Query Builder. Basically what it does is allow you to talk to the database in plain English. Say, I want a list of customers who are 30 days late with their payments. And the AI will translate that into SQL for your database. And that's it. You can save it as a query. You can run reports on it. You can do whatever you want. This is a great tool for you to never have to write SQL again, or you can even use it for your end users so they can talk to the database in English without having to know SQL. Let's take a look at some samples in action. Uh, give me a list of customers sorted last name, first name. Ready? Send to open AI. Takes a second. Boom, comes right back with your SQL, there it is. It knows the field names and the table names in your database. You click the view results button, and there you go, there's your query. Nice and sorted for you. It saves it in your database as tempq, right? There it is right there. So you can rename it and save it if you wanna save it as a different query. Want something a little more complex? All right, how about Customers from Florida with a family size of at least three people. Ready? Go. There it is. There's your SQL. View the results. And it looks like just one person. Deanna Troy from Florida with a family size of four. How about something a little more complex? Now, this database, if you're familiar with my templates, has contacts, customers, orders, and order details in it. So how about if we use two tables, customers and contacts? Let's say, how about customers that have been contacted this past week? Right, that has to merge together the customer and contacts tables, and there it is, joins it all together. Right, joins are always the tough thing in writing queries. All right, run the query, and there you go. It looks like there's three people, and if you check the data, it's correct. I don't, I don't see the last contacted date on here though. Let's tell the AI to add that. Be sure to include the date last contacted, and go. Let's see what it gives us. I can see right here it added contact t dot contact date to the SQL, and there we go. It's perfect. <laughs> it honestly still surprises me how good the AI is getting. And yes, today's date is December fourth, twenty twenty three. So these are all people that have been contacted this week. Let's do something with three tables. Now we got orders and order details, right? The details are the line items. So in order to do that, if, if we want customers with their order totals, it's going to have to join three tables together. Let's see if it can do that. How about if we say a list of customers with unpaid orders and what their total amount unpaid is. Let's see what it gets us. And there we go. Pretty complex join. Let's see what the results look like. There you go. And yes, I checked. That is correct. All right, if you look at me, for example, I should have a $360 unpaid order. Let's take a peak customer form, go to orders, and that one's paid, and that one's not paid. There you go. Yeah, it works. I've, I've tested these extensively. All the data I'm showing you is valid. How about action queries? Now, be careful with these, right? Add $50 to the credit limits for every customer in Florida. Again, let's take a look. I've got a credit limit of $5,100. Okay, let's run it. Actually, we got to get the SQL first. Okay, update customer T set credit limit equals credit limit plus 50 where state equals Florida. Run it. And it says done. Let's take a look. Look at that, 5150. See that? Pretty cool, huh? And again, we're talking to the database in English. The AI translates it into SQL and then you can run it. You can use this as a tool for yourself. You can give it to your end users if you want. I'd recommend just giving them the select queries. Don't let them have it. Don't let them have at it with action queries. But as you can see, it's a fantastic tool. If you don't want to have to learn SQL or write SQL yourself, you can just tell the database what you want. Now, in order to use this template, you will have to have a paid account with OpenAI. And basically, I'm using ChatGPT to get the information. So we're sending the English request to ChatGPT, and it's returning the SQL to us. I cover how to set all that up in this video. This is a free video. Here's the link here. You can go watch it. It's on my website and my YouTube channel. Before you buy my template, make sure you got this working first, because this is required.
And also, as part of the template package, I will include part two and the extended cut, which is normally for my members, showing you how to set up multiple bots. So you can have a friendly bot, you can have a bot that replies like Mr. Spock, you can do spelling and grammar only, or like we're gonna do here, that's basically what my template does. And there's some extra stuff, there's some additional coding I had to write, and I'll walk you through it in the explainer video for the template. A little something extra for the developers. But that's it, that's the AI Query Builder template from Access Learning Zone. You can find more information here or purchase your copy at this address right there. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below or contact me on my website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.